Hi everyone, welcome back for another plan with me. This week I'm gonna be doing the week of Christmas, very exciting, so the 21st through the 27th, and I'm gonna be using my Sugar Plum Fairy Nutcracker Kit. Um, so with that, we're, we have our bottom washi, our ombre heart checklists, our full boxes, our decorative half boxes, our solid full boxes, some mini checklists, our headers, some double polka dot banners, our hydration sticker, and then just some smaller flags. So I'm going to go ahead and take you out of my kiki and then we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so you are out of my Kiki K and we are going to go ahead and get started with our bottom washi and our sidebar like we always do. We're going to kind of frame up the week and then go in and start filling out the individual days. So for our bottom washi I have this really pretty kind of gold snowflake washi and by washi I do mean sticker paper for all of my diehard washi fans out there. So I'm going to go ahead and just line it up with the side and the bottom and lay it down. So I'm so excited about this week's kit. I've kind of gone non-traditional with the majority of my weeks, which is a little surprising for me. Um, but this kit is so colorful and so bright. I'm really excited to see it all laid down. What I will say, as I said in my last plan with me, if you are making your own stickers, keep a pair of scissors handy. They will become your best friend in case something doesn't peel up right or you just need to even it out. Now the other thing I will say about glossy sticker paper is you have to work quick. If something doesn't go down right, you have a small window of opportunity to go ahead and get that fixed before it's going to become really difficult to pull it up. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead in and do our sidebar. So for that, I have my hydration sticker, my to buy to clean stickers, a next week sticker, and I always put a decorative sticker up here in the corner. So we're going to go ahead and start with the top. And this is going to be the same snowflake pattern that's in our bottom washi. I wanted something kind of neutral because I have these kind of three-dimensional nutcrackers, one of which I'm going to turn into kind of a page marker and one that I want to kind of take off and put right in the corner. They may not stay on the whole week because they are three-dimensional and that could get a little bit challenging but they're so darn cute you have to try so next week and I'm gonna go ahead in with one of my extra ombre heart checklists and again I like having this one on the sidebar for things that are not necessarily tied to a specific day but that I don't want to forget um, so it's kind of my catch-all to make sure that if there's something that I need to keep in mind for next week, I'm not going to lose it. My to clean, my to buy. And then finally my hydration sticker. Now I will have a little bit of space at the bottom, which depending on what I have left for stickers, I may go in and add a little bit of something at the bottom, but it typically doesn't bother me if I have a little bit of space at the bottom of the top, so we may just leave it as is. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my ombre heart checklists at the top, uh, my decorative full boxes in the center, and then build up from the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take my page flags off and get started with those ombre heart checklists. And I am 
so excited because I work in higher education administration in the Northeast and from today, Tuesday the 22nd until the 4th, the college is closed, which is a really nice break and kind of much needed. Um, for any of my, my subscribers or viewers that work in higher education administration, you know how busy, especially in undergraduate admission, it can be this time of year. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the side and the top and lay it down. Okay, so from here I'm going to go ahead and lie down my decorative boxes next. And again, I do things a little bit differently because if your headers or your, your boxes start to go a little bit askew by laying down your full boxes first and then going back in and putting down your headers, you're going to avoid any issues with things not laying straight. I seriously cannot get over how it's stinking cute these little nutcracker guys and ballerinas are. They are so adorable. And I don't know about you guys because I live, like I said, in the Northeast, kind of right outside of Boston. We have a fantastic ballet company that we're very fortunate to be close to. Um, so it's kind of an annual tradition to go and see the nutcracker every year. And it's always so fun to see how it changes year over year between new dancers and new sets and new costumes. It really um, is a fantastic show. Especially now that I have a little one, she was too young to go this year, but there were so many children there and it was it's so exciting to think about bringing her next year provided she can sit still that long. It is asking a lot of a one and a half year old, two year old by then. I am trying to line the colors up closely, but not, you know, not spot on. So something like this. We'll pick up the hints of green, but it's not gonna be an exact match, which is A-OK -okay with me. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and start building up from the bottom. So again, for that, I'm going to use my mini heart checklists, which I use for meal planning. And then I have some decorative half boxes and some solid half boxes as well, since I, for some reason, only printed five instead of six. Um, either that or I lost the sixth one, which is entirely possible. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start laying those down and then we will put on our headers after that. So I'm gonna line them right up along the bottom of the bottom washi and with these I'm just going to alternate between the pinks and the blues. I 
And one of the questions that came up quite a bit after my first plan with me or even kind of on Instagram is, you know, because I uncoiled my Erin Condren and put it in my Kiki K, does it bother me that I then punched within the boxes? And honestly, as I said in my last plan with me, it really doesn't bother me because I'm not really losing that much space. So yes, I may uh, end up punching one of these hearts out, but I can still fit everything that I need to on the page and, and in the section. Um, so it really doesn't bother me at the end of the day. You know, I like to say I'm type awesome light. Take that from Paper and Glam's Lisa Marie. She um, kind of coined type awesome. 